In this lesson, we'll be installing the video, Ethernet, modem, and sound cards into the computer. The cards go into the expansion slots on the motherboard. The first big slot, closest to the CPU, is called the PCI Express 16X slot. The PCI Express 16X slot, along with the other PCI Express 1X and a second 16X slot, are spaced further into the board than the regular PCI slots. The video card goes into the first PCI Express 16X slot. Before we can add the card, we have to remove the metal plate just inside the back of the case. This plate is usually held in place by a screw. On this case, there's a plastic clip that needs to be pulled back. On some cases, the plate comes out by sliding it, and some cases you have to pry it out. If you have to pry the plate out, use a screwdriver and pliers because the edges will be sharp. To install the video card, hold it by its face plate and the edge of the board so that the heatsink and fan are facing the bottom of the case. Place the card at the opening of the slot so that the face plate will go just to the left of the motherboard's edge. Then push the card straight into the slot until it's seated and the face plate is up against the screw hole. Then secure the video card to the case with a screw. We'll hold off on installing the second video card into the second PCI Express 16X slot until after the system is up and running with Windows installed. The PCI Express 1X slots are for future cards. At the making of this video, there were no 1X PCI Express cards on the market. If you have one, it goes in the same way as the regular PCI cards. The procedure for the other cards is the same. Remove the metal plate, install the card, and secure it with a screw. The PCI cards can go into any of the PCI slots, and the order isn't important. That being said, it's best to install the sound card into the bottom slot. This will keep it far from the video card and other components, which can produce interference that can be picked up by the sound card. Before you install the sound card into the bottom slot, Remember to attach the CD audio cable from the CD drive. The cable connects to the bottom of the sound card into a connector called CDN. If you're connecting a digital audio cable from the CD drive, its connector on the sound card is also found on the bottom, under the name CD Digital or CD SDIF. Once connected, install the sound card into the bottom slot and secure it with a screw. In the next lesson, we will connect the cables from the power supply to all of the components.